What up, y'all? It's Emilio Rojas. I'm from Rochester, New York. Right now, I live in Brooklyn. I'm a hip hop artist. I make good music that's relatable that you could knock in your whips. How did I get started? Um, I was always around music from a young age, so it just kind of progressed naturally. I had like a, a love affair with hip hop um, from the first moment that I heard it. And, you know, just it was that combined with like, you know, being a drummer, et cetera, that kind of took me in, into the realm of creating something because it's like, it's really rhythmic, you know, and especially my style, like I'm more of like a rhythm type of rhymer, you know, than anything else. What would I consider to be my big break? I think I'm still waiting for it, you know, I'm still working towards, uh, towards breaking through to, to certain markets that are larger that are going to be more accepting of what it is that I do because I feel like the things that I have to offer are accessible to a large audience and I'm just waiting for that audience to be able to hear what I'm what it is that I'm doing you know how did I link up with Green Lantern legend from onsmash.com had had put together a mixtape through the the onsmash site and I had a record on there called 585 Green heard the record and being that he's from the same city you know he was at he kind of was at a predisposition towards messing with it a little heavier than uh you know, any DJ who wouldn't happen to be from Rochester. So he heard it, he was messing with it, he played it on the Sirius show. He and I started talking and then from there it just, you know, boom. And Green to me is, he like revolutionized the mixtape game. He was like the first one doing all the skits and the theme tapes and like he's, as far as I'm concerned, Green's a legend, you know? And uh, it's, it's been an honor to work with him. The mixtape that I'm releasing now is called The Natural. It's DJ Green Lantern presents Emilio Rojas, The Natural. It's 14 tracks deep, features production from Boy Wonder, Knotts, Sean C and LV, M Phases, DJ Static, Jay Glaze, Battle Roy, like there's no other rappers on the project. I kind of wanted to tell my story and who better to tell my story than me. I'm not going to bring somebody else in for a 16 bar, you know, verse on, you know, talking about me. Some personal experience that I drew from on the mixtape. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, like, my father was a deadbeat, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people can relate to that. It's not like, it's not a story that's uncommon, unfortunately. Like, for example, the song I did with Sean C and LV, it's called Sympathy for the Devil. I wrote from the perspective of my father, like, if he was writing a letter to my mother, my sister, and myself apologizing for leaving, you know? You know, there's fun stuff, too. Like, I have a little bit of a cocky side. That's the bold and arrogant joint that we threw out there. I like girls, who doesn't like, you know, going out, having fun, like, stuff like that, you know, just all across the board, but it's relatable stuff, like stuff that people go through every day, and that's what I try to communicate, like, I'm not on some, like, you know, like, I'm here, and, like, these people are down there, and it's gonna be surprising, there's a lot of bigger records on it, we're running radio, I know Power in New York has been playing uh, the first record off at Bold and Arrogant, we've been getting some spins with that, hopefully things will continue to I mean, with the momentum that they, they're picking up right now, like I've been getting a lot of positive feedback, a lot of support from the fans, and people have just been really, really overwhelmingly positive. Some other future projects, well, I'm always writing and recording. I'll be throwing out tracks, and, you know, for download or whatever. You'll see them on mixtapes and stuff, but I'm working on my solo project now. I got a record completed with M Phases, who's he won Shot Money XL's competition for producers in Arizona two years ago. He's sick. Um, he and I did a bunch of records together, and you know I'm blessed to be able to work with him. Big shouts to the people at 10D. Big shouts to Karma Loop too, like just for having me here. As far as like brands, like I like I like APC. I think they make really good denim. I think fashion is like a reflection of like, you know what it, what you have inside on the outside, obviously. Huh? But it's also your first introduction to people who may not ever have an opportunity to, to hear you open your mouth. So you wanna you wanna put yourself together in such a way that reflects like what you have going on in here. Um, and I try to be clean, you know. I try to make sure, not too calculated. Like I just, you know, I kind of I have a closet full of white V-neck tees, you know, white V-neck tees and raw denim. I'm just real simple. Maybe throw on a nice jacket or something, or a nice watch. You could do whatever you want. You could rock sweats with, you know, with stains on them as long as your watch is nice, you know? And I don't mean like chunky, icy watch. I just mean like some nice stuff, you know? What up, y'all? Emilio Rojas. You are watching Karma Loop TV. I really don't think you should turn it, but if you do, somebody will smite you.